YouTube, it is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. And today we're going to cook up a lo-fi melody, all right? Not necessarily a whole lo-fi beat, but just a lo-fi melody. And um, it's long overdue. I haven't done lo-fi on the channel. Um, we're going to get right into it. Um, lo-fi is uh, low fidelity or low quality. It's usually like a jazzy chord progressions over um, dope uh, swing syncopated beats or drum loops or whatever whatever you want to call it but yeah um i'm gonna be like 80 to 100 on the tempo like 85 or something like that and then we're gonna put it in we're gonna go you can once you find your tempo just use a a, a dope drum loop all right and um this is semantics loops Okay, so we got that, and then we can just double that up. So we already got the drum loop. Now we just got to work on the pattern, and this is what I want to focus on in the video. So when you open it up, you can use FL keys, okay, because you're going to – usually there's so many effects that go into the actual loop. So you can use FL keys, and that's what we'll do. Everybody usually has that, all right? So now we're good to go. Now we got to go inside. And we're going to come up with a chord progression. Now I'm going to show you like two different ways. So if you just have FL keys and you don't have Scalar, which I'll be using today, you can go in and um, just find some like jazzy chords. And usually jazzy chords are seventh chords. So we're going to go into something basic like C minor. All right. And we're just going to come over some some jazzy chords. So the first one, of course, C minor. Skip two. Bam. Then skip three. And then you want a seventh, all right? So a seventh, we're going to add that on, all right? So this is a one. This is the first chord of the scale. You can go like a uh, one, seven. And then you go like a four, the fourth note in the scale. One, two, three, four, which would be F minor. And then we're going to add on that seventh. And then you can do like a five. Okay, but usually when we're doing lo-fi, um, it's real sad, and we're going to do more than that because, you know, it wouldn't be a Hollywood Floss video if we, you know, really put it to the test. So we're going to go into Scalar, and I'm going to use Scalar 2 just because I like the options more in Scalar 2, but you can get it done in Scalar, Scalar 1. So in Scalar 2, we're going to go straight, and we're going to look for dope jazz chords, all right? So, of course, we're going to go to the jazz. That's nice right there. So on this one, we're using a one because we're in we're using the, the the root note of the scale, a five, and then a seven. Okay. Now, a good chord progression to use in lo-fi is two five one. That means the second uh, the second note of the scale, the fifth note, and then going back to the first note of the scale. But I'll show you that one next. But this one, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna drag it over to the FL keys. And this time we're going to double up on that last chord, but we're going to raise up that bottom note, all right? And then we're going to stretch everything out. Let's see how this sounds. All right, and that's just the beginning, all right? So we're getting something done. Now let me go back and show you the two five one method. All right. So let's say let's clear this out. Let's say that we are in something new. A minor, that that'll be perfect. A minor. And we just started from scratch. If you're starting from scratch, you're gonna make sure you go to the triad section. You're gonna get some sevens or ninths. Both of them work. Okay. We're gonna use some sevens for this one. And we're gonna use the two the five and the one method two five one method and then we're going to double up on one so what we could do to double up on one is we could take this one and we can 
change the voicing of it. And we're getting added. So it's still two five one, it's just two ones, right? And then we're gonna drag that over into our FL keys. Alright. Highlight it. Make sure you don't miss anything. And we're in A minor. Keep up with your scales. Okay, so right there we already have a cool bass line and then you can always, always, you know, move it over and then you can add notes to it. So what we'll do is we'll add another, we'll clone that and add another instance of FL keys. And this time we're just going to use this FL keys to get some notes. But we don't want them as tough. We're just going to use the highlight it. And then we can go in and we can really mess with the effects because it's all about the effects, right? Now we're going to come into the effects on the keys and we're going to use a preset, classic lo-fi, okay? And what you can do on this one, you can just add some mechanical noise and some wear. You can tear it down, some dust, some scratches. Turn up the warp, anything like that, and you can use 1970s feel. Okay, so that's just an effect that you can use. You can also use RC20. Everybody loves the RC20, but if you don't have that, isotope, isotope vinyl is free. So, you know, okay, you're going to add some ambiance. You might want to add some rain, some little off-kilter effects. What else can we add? Uh, let's see. Oh, this is perfect right here. Lo-fi rain. That is perfect. So now we're getting somewhere we still it still needs some more sounds we can clone more pads we can clone uh some more transition like things like that but that is the basis you want to have a dope a dope dope chord progression you know like I say you can use fo keys um you want to have some some drums and when you're making a drum you can use a drum loop but you want to have some swing to it it wants to be offbeat you kind of take the snares and kind of adjust them just a little bit to the right or take and make sure that all your hi-hats are different velocities and let me show you something again in the that you can also do you can alt s strums and as you can see it gives different velocities so it doesn't feel like that you just you know all things are just the same equal value on the keyboard just little things like that and then of course you would need a bass line now you don't want to go too crazy on the bass line you can just you kind of just follow the root notes of whatever your piano that you lay down or your pad that you lay down or guitar whatever you use as the main instrument just kind of just ride the bass line and what I mean by that is just if the root notes are you know B E A A then you would just take boo bass, copy over, and then just delete your top notes. Just delete them, get them out of there. Nothing too simple. And this is just the basics. <laughs> can you know on the turnaround you can kind of kind of 
kind of get fancy with it just a little bit. And nothing spectacular, just something simple. Keep it simple with lo-fi, and there you go, and just keep on practicing. But hopefully, this was a great enough tutorial to get you started on simple lo-fi using Scalar 2. It's your boy, Hollywood Floss. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next, if you want to see anything next, and uh, let me know what you think. Peace.